Hey everyone, this is Simply Syrup coming to you with another video from our Dungeons of Edera series. Today we are going to be talking about the most powerful spells you can use to destroy your enemies and rule the dungeon. Before we get started, I wanted to say thank you so much for tuning in and I wanted to remind our new viewers to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Also, I understand that a video like this could be a little controversial. And while I have personally tried every spell in the game, you may have some different opinions. I wanted to say that that's alright. Feel free to comment your favorite spells or point out anything that you think I may have made a mistake on. As always, timestamps will be available in the video description, so feel free to skip around to the section that you will benefit the most. Before I take up any more of your time, let's get into the video. For the sake of easy viewing, we are going to section off spells into three separate categories. Spells that can be unlocked as soon as you start the game will be called beginner spells. These beginner spells will be what everyone starts out with. So as soon as you start a new character, you should be looking to grab these spells immediately. The next group of incantations we want to talk about is going to be labeled as the intermediate spells. These intermediate spells will be unlocked once you buy the respective representative. It normally takes around 10,000 to 30,000 gold to unlock the skill tree, so this may take a little while to get to, but these spells are powerful, and any wizard should be looking to acquire them as soon as possible. Lastly, we will go over the advanced spells, or spells that can only be unlocked after reaching level 15. These advanced spells will naturally be the most powerful in the game and thus will be the ultimate test for any caster to master. Also, I'm not looking to waste your time, so for each category I'm going to give you my top 3 picks for each classification of spells and give a brief but thorough description of why I chose the spell and how you can use it to maximize success. Each section will have 1 damage, 1 support, and one healing spell. So let's start where all great videos should, at the beginning. For our first damage spell in the beginner category, we want to talk about the Static Charge Water Sage spell. I was absolutely blown away the first time I used the Static Charge spell. This spell is so powerful that it would be running for best damage spell in any of our categories. The main advantage of the static charge is the incredible amount of damage that can be done in such a short period of time. This incantation is both useful for taking down solo enemies and annihilating bosses. The only drawback is that you have to be fairly close to your enemy in order for it to be effective. When it comes to damage, there is no doubt that the static charge spell is the way to go for any beginner wizard. Next up, we have our favorite support spell in the beginner classification, and we're going to be talking about the Sacred Ground spell that can be found in the Earth Shaman skill tree. Honestly, the support spells in the beginner classification are pretty weak, although I really do see some benefit to the Sacred Ground spell. Not only does this spell do damage, but it also heals for 10% of your magic damage per second. A huge benefit to this spell is the massive area that it covers. There is absolutely no way to miss when casting Sacred Ground and it would be a good idea to throw down at the beginning of any engagement. Lastly, in our beginner spell classification, we're going to be talking about our favorite healing spell. And for this one, we chose the Healing Totem, which can be found in the Water Sage skill tree. This one is a no-brainer. The healing totem is by far the best healing spell in all of the beginner skill trees. The healing is just average, but where the totem really shines is the huge effect radius. I normally place the totem down at the beginning of every fight because another big advantage of the totem is that it heals your companion as well. The only downside for the healing totem is that it uses your max health to determine how much healing to give. 
This is unfortunate because health isn't something that you will want to upgrade for most wizard classes. Even with this drawback, I see the healing totem as a necessary staple of a beginner build. With that spell, we've completed the beginner spells and are ready to move on into the intermediates. For our first damage spell, we're going to be looking at Blizzard from the Water Sage skill tree. The Blizzard spell is undoubtedly one of the most powerful in the game. This spell allows you to cast down 12 icicles, each dealing 20 plus 150% of your magic damage. This incantation can take down almost any monster in the game with one cast if you have a high enough magic damage rating. There is one huge drawback to this spell though. It can basically only be used outside. For whatever reason, most likely a bug in the game, the icicles will hit surrounding objects like rooftops and not make it down to the enemy. I would expect this to be fixed at some point in the future, but in its current state, while extremely powerful, the blizzard spell is a situational use. Also, due to the small effect radius, enemies need to be standing still in order to hit all of the icicles. Even with these major drawbacks, I'm still putting the blizzard spell at the top of the list for damage spells in the intermediate class because most monsters won't survive two of the shards, much less all 12. So for power alone, this spell is number one. For our favorite support spell in the intermediate classification, we're going to be going with the Pollution Totem in the Earth Shaman skill tree. For this spell, we're actually going to be using two skill points because you're also going to want to use the Enduring Totem and the Water Sage skill tree. The Pollution Totem with the Enduring Totem buff will stop any enemy in their tracks. Not only does this spell do poison damage, it also slows down any attacks, making you and your companion just a little bit safer in this unforgiving game. I love this spell combo and would suggest using it at the beginning of any engagements with large groups of enemies for maximum effectiveness. Remember, the Pollution Totem does damage over time, so you're going to want to use this spell as early in the fight as possible. It is especially effective versus bosses whittling down their health over an extended period of time. Surprise, surprise, the intermediate spell classification doesn't have a true healing spell. So I'm going to tell you about another damage spell instead. For the second best damage spell in the intermediate classification, I'm going to go with the Firestorm spell in the Fire Mage skill tree. The Firestorm is another incredibly strong spell you should be looking to put in your arsenal as soon as possible. The Firestorm will deal 250% magic AoE damage wherever you cast it, making it the second most powerful spell in the intermediate classification. This spell isn't perfect though. Two negatives to this spell are the long time it takes to cast and the small area of effect that the spell actually covers. Also, this incantation will only last a short period of time. All prices that I was willing to pay for the extreme amount of damage this spell allows you to put out. Just remember when using this spell to hold down your cast button a little longer than usual or else the spell will cancel itself forcing a cooldown. Well, unfortunately it looks like we've run out of time in this video. I hope you are enjoying my list of the best spells in Dungeons of Edera. Make sure to watch my next Best Spells video in the Edera series where we are going to be finishing off my top 3 picks for the advanced spells, giving some honorable mentions to spells that didn't quite make the cut, and going over some builds to maximize your playthrough potential. Please remember to hit that like button if you enjoyed the video, and subscribe to keep up to date with the latest Dungeons of Edera content from the Simply Syrup channel. We will be coming out with more videos very soon that you won't want to miss. 
Also, check the link in the description to navigate over to my Twitch channel, where we are playing games like Dungeons of Edera almost daily. I appreciate everyone who has made it this far in the video, and I hope you have a fantastic day. Until next time, this is Simply Syrup, signing off.